Hey guys, come and join me in the old frog and toad for another whiskey and pipe chat. This one's kind of different. Hey guys, Mike here from Old Man Things, and welcome to the old frog and toad. Let me light my pipe. This is a whiskey and pipe chat, so let me light my pipe first. It's a bit different. I got the pipes playing. Thought you'd listen to something while I'm lighting my pipe. You can't make this up. I'm going to just leave it in. I think I was showing you I had my bagpipe tamper, bagpiper tamper. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, water went everywhere. Cause I'd like a nice drop of Water all I'm having a scotch. <coughs> I'm gonna say look so Alexa, stop music. So let me show you what I'm drinking. And this is a bit different for me. I'm not I don't usually buy blended Scotch, or yeah, blended Scotch whiskeys. And I've got a Black Bush, sorry, Black Bull 12 year old blended whiskey. And this is really nice. It's 50% alcohol. So 100 proof. Look at that. And that means the youngest cast used in this blend was 12 years old. So let it sit in the glass. It's now covered with water underneath for a bit. And I mean, this is wonderful. It, it's like a, almost like a fruit cakey taste, but you also have that bit of smoked. I mean, it's nice. I did add, add a drop of water to it, but. So, I'm first going to tell you what I've been doing. So, when I added that bit of sherry to that, that scotch that I had two videos before that I didn't like, it begins with a T, I can't think for the life of me what it's called. Tomlin, 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 I can't. 
to I don't anyhow it got me thinking of is there a is there a way to make a single malt better or any kind of whiskey for that matter So I thought I'd experiment with something. So I'm going to show you now what I've been doing. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a one liter medium charred barrel oak, American oak, and a two liter medium charred American oak barrel. And I'm seasoning it, this one, the one liter, with sherry and with this one the two liter with port now what I'm gonna do is so I'll I'll leave this one now for a few more days and then I'll empty it and put the scotch in there single malt and I'll leave this for another week at least port one because it's a little bit bigger and then I'll be adding single malt in that and we shall see what um how it turns out but I'm quite excited about this So now I have to decide what scotches I'm going to put in there. Now I'm going to put single malt in there, but I really would like to get a non-chill filtered um, cast strength. Of course, that's a lot of money and you'd hate to spend a, I mean, you can get them halfway decent prices, but you hate to spend a lot of money if it goes bad. So. I'll have to do some research on that. Well, keep you posted. But the neat thing about it is that little one liter, it says for, for a week in there simulates six years in the big, huge barrels that they normally do. The two liter, two weeks. Whether that's true or not, that's what I've read repeatedly now i don't know what i did with my bloody what's that my tamper well there it is the other thing i wanted to talk to you about was i wanted I've been getting ready to, I want to go fishing this spring and I'm getting quite excited about it. And, um, so I thought I'd love to go fishing for the day and bring a nice drop of, um, whiskey with me. So of course you need a good, um, flask. So about well it was 2000 so about 24 years ago my brother got married and I was his best man and he got me a pewter hip flask and it's you know just a typical average pewter hip flask but my memory was every time I ever put any kind of if I I usually would put either brandy in it or um whiskey of some sort it always tasted kind of it didn't it had that it, it took on that taste I don't know I didn't like it and I also I don't I like to have a glass I like to, to have a nice glass and to sit there and drink from the bottle I know I'm a prune but I know my wife thinks I'm a prune I don't like to drink a beer out of a glass or bottle I don't like to drink a soda out of a glass or bottle or sorry a can or bottle I like to have a glass so I knew the old old um, flasks 
They used to be made out of glass, and that's actually what I prefer. And then they would have a little silver cup or a pewter cup or whatever. And in fact, a lot of the old, um, in England, the old fox hunters would have um, those kind of flasks. And this is so nice. You guys, it's not a lot of money. It's 12 year old. You gotta try Black Bull. Our friend, the great Sir John Dale Piper, used to have a flask like that when he would go hunting. So I started to look. And the first one I found was this one. And it, it's a modern day version. I mean, I, I'm sure it's still old. It's probably from the 80s. And it, this is aluminum. And this is glass. And I believe this is plastic. And so I found this and I thought, yeah, I like this. But then it just, I wanted the old, old school one. You know me, I got the old English pub like. I like old school stuff. Oh, I should say I'm smoking my Dunhill 82. Um, it's the Sandblast one, whatever that's called, a shell bright, I, I don't know, with some Fisherman's Dottle. So, I started looking, and I found an old, dating back to like 19... 12, 1913, a silver plated flask with the cup. I had to replace the cork in the inside. And I have to tell you, I really like this. This is fantastic. I cleaned it like you can't imagine. And that first drink was a bit iffy. And I didn't realize it was silver. It was known, it was called, it, it was, and when I got it off of eBay, it said pewter. But then by the marking, I have an old friend that's in the antiques, and he told me immediately what the marking was, and um, that it was all, it was silver plated, that they only ever made silver plated nickel things. So, and that's what that was. Well, then I found this. And I mean, this is just fantastic. Look at this thing. And you got the little, you twist it, and then it opens, and you have the silver um, cup. And I replaced the cork in that one as well. But the neat thing about this is the initials are EWL. I don't know if you can see that. My grandma, her with her maiden name, she was Esther Winifred Lee. And that's what it is, E-W-L. So I just think this one's fantastic. And you can't get anything better, in my opinion, than glass to put um, your whiskey in. And you know these are old because they've got the old um, bubbles in the glass. And with the marking, it shows that it's between 1897 and this one is between 1897 and 1903, I believe. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Twists and locks. So it actually goes like that. Yeah, so you twist, oh yeah, that's how you go. Twist it, open it, and I mean, with that new cork, it's perfectly sealed. So, these are my, <laughs> my wife always says, you can't just do something simple, can you? So these are my flasks, and I'm quite pleased with them. 
especially that one. That is my absolute favorite. So, although I like them so much, I don't want to get rid of them. But I know I didn't want the pewter one, and I didn't want to drink it from that. I always say to my wife, I'm not a bloody savage. <laughs> my wife is as American as American can be. So she always sighs heavily. But anyhow... At that guys it was just a simple one wanted to show you what i was doing with the barrels and that i'd use that opportunity to bring in my my wee humble um flask collection cheers everyone i've never been a big blended whiskey blended scotch fan but this is holy cow this is good this is really good and at that i shall say toodle pip everyone <laughs>